Bree Pettis of MakerBot.com, and me and my MakerBot are on the cover of Make Volume 21. Check it out. There's great articles. Here's the one all about MakerBot, and then there's some other good stuff in here, too. Let's look at it. Make Volume 21 takes an in-depth look at 3D manufacturing at home, highlighting a number of different ways to get your desktop factory started, including step-by-step -step instructions for building your own 3D scanner, Homebrew music lovers can play with pride after building the acoustic cigar box guitar. Test your reflexes with this reaction timer circuit you can assemble yourself on an electronics breadboard. And while you've got your multimeter handy, learn how to easily add light to your projects with this helpful EL wire primer. Plus, details on creating your own snow gun, time-lapse photography rig, decorative lanterns from gourds, and, well, a whole lot more. Make recently paid a visit to MakerBot headquarters in Brooklyn, New York, birthplace of the Cupcake CNC 3D printer. MakerBot co-founder Brie Pettis showed us around a bit and sat down for a chat. Okay, let me give you a little tour of the bot cave. First of all, let's start at the the brain center here, which is actually the MakerBots. We've got our production facility here, which is where we make stuff, and we've got all of our, our prototypes in the back here, starting from our earliest prototype and then some explorations into doing bigger ones, which didn't work as well, until we got to just this perfect size. This is Adam. He's softwareing. He's working on the software and making that work. As soon as you get more than 20 things you have to organize, you have to start putting barcodes on stuff. We put together an inventory management system on Thingiverse so anybody can use it. And you know, when somebody needs the NEMA 17 motor, we pull one of these out and whoa, there we go. We've got a NEMA 17 motor. We stick it in a box over here, print out shipping labels and put it in a bag and then it goes out the door with the postman. So these are all the MakerBot Cupcake CNC's getting ready to go out and find their place in the world. We just have a few more things to put in here and then we'll close them up and away they'll go off to happy future cupcake builders. Up till now, if you wanted to do your own 3D printing, you had to go to an elite institution, use a mainframe sized device. And it's been really expensive and maybe you had to sneak in on the weekends in order to do it. But now with the MakerBot, you can get your own 3D printer for under a thousand bucks, put it together yourself and start printing stuff out. Right now I'm printing out an elliptical gear. This is something that Nate True came up with. He's a guy out of Seattle who's been designing for the MakerBot. He's been uploading his designs to Thingiverse. I just downloaded this, I'm printing it out. It looks really cool. My favorite thing to print out is people's heads. This is Unfold's head, and we're actually using it to hold SD cards right now. It's our little SD card holder. And, but you can print out Unfold's head, you can print out Walt Disney's head. As soon as we finish our scanner, you're going to be able to scan your own head and print yourself out in miniature. Right now, all the early adopters and obsessives and cutting edge people are getting MakerBots and other desktop manufacturing kind of tools. But pretty soon we're going to see it's just absolutely commonplace to see people have machines in their kitchen, in their living room. And it'll be easier than going to the store to just make objects. Once you get the bug for desktop fabrication, you know, you can get a MakerBot, you can get a CNC mill that will fit on your desk. You can get a scanner, you can start milling your own PCBs, you can go crazy. It's like having a little factory on your desktop. To learn more about the evolution of the Cupcake CNC 3D printer, pick up a copy of Make Volume 21 at your local newsstand, or subscribe online at makezine.com.